Um, my first poem is called Art. It was art. Abstract and alcohol fueled. Liquid paint splatted, graffiti covered and dangerous. Surreal. Savage beauty of Alexander McQueen. Spray paint guns aimed at a white dress. Fragile. An evening gown made of peonies and roses disintegrating. You say, don't write about life, write about art. Was it not art? The finger painting of my hair? The pigment of your eyes? The sculpture of my thigh? You say, don't write about life, write about art. Was it not art? My solo performance when you left me nude in the gallery covered in snow? This is called Canvas Blank. What we remember begins with the paint and the brushes we choose. Acrylics, watercolors, all different. Some are thick-skinned, others fragile. Days go by and portraits emerge. What we thought was invisible now requires touch. What you thought you could accomplish now requires rain. Time passes. If able to start over, how would this river run? You sew clothing from candlesticks. Light up your creation and paint it while it burns. This is called The Painter. She paints when her love sleeps, in darkness with acrylics on canvas. She splashes emotions of her temptations, mixing pigments in heartache, rinsing her brushes in teardrops. Moonlight spills through the window. She turns her sins into painted trees, hangs them next to the desk where she works, a memory. She prays in church forgiveness. Flowers begin to push up dirt, instill hope, renewal. Resist going back to darkness. Turn this day into hope. Confession does not cure her longings. Guided by her harlot heart, she checks her phone messages, searching for her next paramour. Thank you. This is called Painting Demons. Late night, she becomes a superhero. Surrounded by paints and brushes, reaching out to an artist's friend, they cut skin together. Art is where the soul lives naked. Words can dance, fool a reader. In paint, the soul is raw. Tragedy, thrown on canvas. Words can't describe it. Cutting skin releases intricate, fragile demons filled with desire. She needs to own a piece of his art. He will be famous. She will buy tragedy. Intricate, fragile demons filled with desire. Thank you. It's called chores. It's not the rain. I know it. It's these birds that make that noise. I hear them. That noise does not cease. Like your expectations of me always wanting more. That noise as I go through the motions on that old bed of ours. In my head it is your laundry I do tonight. The heavy load, shoving your soil garments into the machine, watching your gyrations, your spin cycle. All oh, those damn birds, they're caw, caw, caw. How can I compose myself in this clamoring silence? <coughs> Thank you. This is called It Lives in the Basement. Loneliness crept up the stairs, stood in a corner, observed the situation, Search for the easiest to infiltrate. Curled around her unknown, smoke unseen, loneliness holds her tight. She thinks its warmth is comforting. Quickly she's left abandoned, alone, trying to make snow angels at midnight. This is called carnage. They sit catty corner at the back of the bar, full of poetry and alcohol. Romantics left empty, she has stories, heartache, and anguish. Raw and honest, hearts exposed, they take turns. Slice slivers of heart and place them on the bar. Tales of a slow death lasting too long. Drama of a love that shattered spirits. Mourning a companion lost in a bottle. Memory of a marriage held together with strings. They reminisce all night. Slice slivers of heart until the bar is red covered with blood, carnage of lonely souls. She looks into his blue eyes, revealing behind sorrow, passion. Words evaporate. 
Leaning in, she whispers, kiss me. Lost in each other, for a moment, they are healed. Mm. Yeah. Thank you. This is called stumbling. Thorns, this will be careful, baby, that's her heart. Soft, wet, fragile. She looks delicious, doesn't she? He looks at her, wanting to eat her up. Vulnerable antique lace disintegrates easily. His glass shards, invisible, pierce her skin even through the clothes she wears. The swallows will still fly over the maples. She's just a girl with tears in her belly, digging in topsoil, planting deception, linking memoir to history, jousting heart. Only she understands this devastation. Newly slashed, her skin pours poison, oily, dark, staining sheets, infiltrating purity. Never play games with ornamental lovers. Thank you. This next poem is called Like That of the Purple Orchid in My Garden, and it is a cento. The moon tonight is dazzling, it is full. In dreams, I'm wild with guilt. Entering the seawater at twilight, like Blake, naked in his garden. I give anything for one more night and part my lips with the globe. Be gentle with me, I'm new to this. As dawn breaks, he enters. I lay down in the tweed of one man this first frost night, as in a children's book composed entirely of snow. Thank you. This is called Native Dancers. I want us to make love like we changed our names traveling through Marrakesh hoping to be mistaken for natives, who traveled through ancient Egyptian deserts, swam the river Nile, rode camels through Mesopotamia. We dance a seductive tango, a sensuous salsa. We stand together against the winds that blow from the Arabian Sea. I want you to make love to me as if you thought it was your last chance, because tomorrow I'll be tragically killed by Bedouin bandits. <laughs> Are you a mirage? I wait for you in my Mediterranean garden, worship you with rhyme and roses. I place a sheet upon this bed, lie silently, alone, ponder this love, this decision. I awaken in a new world. Can I share secrets with you? Would you listen? Are you the reason I woke up crying? Thank you. fell to earth. His lyrics in her brain create the song she begins to live. His chorus becomes a hangman's noose. Now a lighted torch, she burns to embers in a flash. Ashes smoldering on frozen tundra. Woman with the kiln, mold pots of clay, fingerless. This is called wind, salt, and seaweed. It's another cento. Her bed messed hair, Mango aura, cherished darkness withdraws into summer's marbled air. Behind the clouds, a vortex plunge, wormy matter complexifying, an unfinished squeeze waiting. This is called sunken ship. Fog made of salt, tears of mermaids, voices rising from deepest sorrow carry me towards daylight. Fuse myself whole again. Wipe my tears with beach fire coals. Lose me on the shoreline. Let me become food for seagulls. <laughs> Thank you. This is called, this is a new one I'm working on. This is called When Thunder Rolled Into a Peaceful Rhythm. This day together could be our last day together. Hold my hand, stay close. Let's hope we get lucky and get tomorrow a new day. This step could be our last step for both of us. Wrong place, wrong time. We could two step into infinity. Hold my hand, stay close. I want to spend another day with you. Yeah. A little tiny poem called Colors. You're blue, I'll pretend I'm yellow. Together we'll grow like green after rain. 
another little tiny poem called In the Backyard. Digging in the garden dirt, my father taught me how to transplant the fragile tomato plant so small I understand his passion. So if you notice we went from painting, now we're going into the garden. Anyway, this is called Autumn Again. Or early morning gardening, harvest peppers, hot peppers, jalapeno, the last small tomato, leaves on the flowering pear tree give in, turning sepia. Crimson adorns the top of the burning bush. Frost is near. Soon my harvest will be spent. Sweetness of blackberries long gone. Few, few crops remain this night near freezing. Soon my garden will sleep, blanketed in snow. She'll surrender, give in to winter. Come spring, I'll wake her, poke her, massage her with pitchfork and rake. Feed her with compost and she'll be ready for the symphony of planting. This is, thank you. This is called Her Gardener. He cultivates flowers. He loves so many breeds. In this warm equinox air, their scent allures him, his dandelions, lily of the valley. Tonight, she waits for him in her vegetable garden, star searching, surrounding by seedlings, tomatoes, peppers. He's exhausted from gardening, tending to his narcissus tonight. Still, she waits on her patch of dirt, watching vegetables grow in darkness, hoping her gardener will come around and check on his rose. Maybe prune her this early spring. He needs to remove the weight of dead branches. Her roots are deep, but she's been harmed by ice storms that came late spring. And this is called Be My Garden. I need to cleanse myself, dig myself into the dirt, sleep with daffodil bulbs, and breathe earth. I remember where last season's tomatoes grew, where the strawberry patch sent its runners through the hot peppers and the eggplants. I want to feel you again. I want to know you like I know the dirt in my garden. I'll rake last season's leaves from you, fertilize you, rejuvenate you. I want to introduce you to the praying mantis and the ladybugs so they can defend you from parasites. I want you soil ready so I can dig my hands in deep, plant a fragile seedling, water it, and watch it grow. Thank you very much. I only have a living number of copies, so if you want one, come see me at intermission.